So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse. If you guys don't know, during the first week of a season or our expansion, we usually just go through Eververse just to see what she's selling. We're going to go through all of the other stuff she's selling as well. And then we'll go through the season pass because I don't feel like making two videos for, for that type of content. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's, uh, let's look at what she's selling. So we'll look at the stuff she's selling right here first, and then we'll go down here and then we'll do it like that. So that way we can uh, get to the stuff that everyone wants to look at. So for the first stuff, we're going to be looking at Royal Treatment. This is a pretty good shader. Definitely would recommend this one, especially if you have the void set from Eververse, because this is the shader that that armor uses. We have Nectar Dy Dynamo which is not my favorite. I'm not a big fan of purple and uh, blue. Just, I don't think it's a good combination personally. And the glow is also red. So that's also fucking weird. Uh, capsule gang entrance. We have serpents reach and then experimental mishap. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Oh fortune of mine or, or for Oh fortune mine, which is funny considering, uh, we're just missing the shader. If they released a shader, that would pre be pretty funny to me. We have uh, Myron's Odyssey and some other ones uh, for the other classes, which I'll probably have up here. Um, Assembly Stinger, which is the, yeah, it's that one. We have Out of Dodge, which I don't know. Oh yeah, it's this one. And then Polar Dance and then Bad Scene. Wait, wait is this the, oh, it's the next one. Uh, we have Champion Entrance, Celebrate Newness, and then Cursed Azur for the Shader. It's a pretty good gold. This is from season of uh, that one is Splicer. Yeah, season of the Splicer. So it's an OK shader. It's not bad. Another season of the Splicer shader. This one's cool because it gives the like the plate armor like a very textured like old look. So this is definitely a good shader if you want to go for that look. We have Polished Sea Stone, which this is like the Buzz Lightyear shader or a darker version of it. Bloody Tooth. This is a really good black uh, shader definitely pick this up if you're interested in a black shader black and red too like obviously but I I really like the black in this one a lot the red not so much all right so now we're done with that let's look at, actually look at what she's selling so we have the armor for the titans which I'm gonna be real with you guys I'm not a fan of the titan one it just kind of looks uh not, mm, not my first initial thought is just lazy uh when it comes to it just because it looks uh, not great. I don't know what it is. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, definitely cool that it's Kratos themed, but I would have liked it if the tattoo was a lot more like visible. Cause like Kratos' tattoo is fucking massive and it's like all over the body and goes up to the hand. And it just seems like it's just here and here. And I guess that's supposed to be it as well, but it just doesn't seem like it. I also don't know if it's shader as well. I'm going to make a video about this soon. I'm going to buy this armor probably today or tomorrow. We'll see because I do have a lot of content to make considering I didn't post anything yesterday. To be fair, by the time we were able to play the fucking game, I was like, it's already too late to make anything worthwhile. Although I could have made ever set, but I was so busy with playing the game that time just went away from me. Um, we'll look at the hunter stuff and the warlock stuff um, after we're done looking at the Titan stuff. So we have these, uh, what the, what the fuck is that game called? Uh, the last of us. There we go. We have the last of us inspired stuff, which is fine. I'm not the big, uh, I should, I shouldn't say that. I am a big, uh, last of us fan. The second one, I really was not interested though. Um, to be fair though, my, my gripe with the last of us too, uh, and I'm going to keep this short cause I don't want to talk about this too long is, uh, I just didn't want a second one. I, I thought where they ended the first one was completely fine. We have the endless roamer finisher stuff, which is so fucking cool. That is so cool because that's definitely Kratos. Like, and it's really cool because it's actually a cabal sword. But yeah, it's so, it's so cool. We have this one, which pisses me off because this should have been Hunter. Like, I don't care what you guys tell me. No. No, it makes sense that the hunters got alloy because alloy's a hunter. She's she uses bow. I don't care, dog. Like my gut tells me samurai hunter definitely should have gone together. I'm not going to look at the the ships and stuff. I don't really care about this shit like to be quite honest. Aside from like maybe this one just because it's Ido themed kind of 
not really well kind of i say not really because like mm, i shouldn't say that it is idol themed it's just i guess i'm just salty that i can't buy this shit. um like i could but like why would i like this is just cosmetic there's nothing man if it wasn't cosmetic and it actually had an in-game thing i probably would be even more mad and this is like my uh, my biggest gripe about this season so far is the fact that we have three shaders behind uh, ten dollar packs which is ridiculous it's so ridiculous bro and yeah i'm just really annoyed about this like like properly annoyed because uh the game is getting more and more expensive but like here's bun here's bungie selling cosmetics this like shade like armor i'm i'm completely fine because we're never gonna fight that but now we now we have to fight for shaders as well like bro like what the fuck um you can buy the the things individually you only be getting thir like three dollars off if you don't buy them individually which is cool i guess for the titans you got the heart rend heart rend yeah heart rend this is for the chest piece for it's this one right here. i'll just show you this one right here which i'm gonna be real with you guys i don't think this is a good ornament for it i think boots would have been better just because the like the pauldrons just look fucking bad with it personally i don't like it the yeah the 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 pauldrons just don't look good with it i think the arms look fine but i think boots would have been a lot better because uh the boots would have actually i think the boots would have taken the glow from the stomach and actually pull it down even more so um cool definitely cool i know people are gonna buy this because uh yeah because people just like it but i'm not a fan of it then we have the ornaments which is for point contact cannon brace which unfortunately it looks fucking cool but again unfortunately that exotics fucking trash bags they did change it i think so we'll see but my first gut reaction is just like mm, still trash bro and I have already made a look for this. We have Chivalry's Chill with Cadmus Ridge Lance Cap, which is. It kills me because like I want to say it's cool. I want to say, oh my god, this is so cool. I think what ruins it is just the beard. I think it would have been cooler if uh the helmet actually went down and then the ice was creeping from below, like the actual helmet. Cause like this just looks like an ice beard and the ice doesn't change color so you are stuck with this blue and i also have made a look with this i'm not a fan of it but uh i'll probably switch it up a little bit because i made a night look with it and it just looks weird i'm gonna be real with you guys i don't know uh this definitely did not need an ornament there's other exotics the titans could have gotten uh for other exotics that i would have much preferred but this one definitely should not have gotten one fucking cadmus ridge really like okay whatever and that's pretty much it. We never, oh, I should look at these ornaments, but I'm just really mad that like three of them are behind. Well, you can get them, but I would want the shader that goes with them. This one looks really cool. The Mara multi tool looks really cool as well. The Outrunner, which is the one that the community voted for, which looks pretty cool. We have Dreaming Clarity, which I actually might get this one if it, if it drops because it looks so fucking cool. Um, so unfortunately, I, I just never use Monte Carlo. Uh, Ichthic Flight, which is just a shader change, personally. Like, it really just looks like a shader change. Which Quicksilver already has a quick, uh, shader change ornament, so that's cool, I guess. Thanks for that. Hibernal Thorns, this looks fucking cool. Some straight up, like, King Trident shit right here. And then Aranus SG1, which kind of looks like a shader change but it actually isn't it, which is really cool it also looks like it's gonna make oh it's a symmetrical bitch yep i'm getting this when it drops because it's symmetrical because the base uh actually i can just show you i have it yeah it's right here uh yeah if you guys can see the base look is not symmetrical there's stuff here and then stuff here so if you want the ornament which makes it symmetrical you're definitely gonna want this so that's it for the titans let's go to the hunters and as for the hunters we have the anointed hunter armor bundle again i like it looks cool it definitely looks cool i'm not saying it doesn't look cool it's just um and i again like i get why hunters got this one she has a we have fucking like arrows on our side like it makes sense 
I just would have, would have preferred if I got Japanese armor for my hunter because I have a I have a Japanese look for my hunter and that, those pieces would have been amazing. Not saying I'm not going to use the Japanese pieces for the warlock. Obviously, they, they have Japanese pieces as well. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah, that's, I'm not going to talk too much about it. Uh, for the actual thing, the like the ornament for the exotic, it's gonna be deep hydra for the um, the fish pants. Hold on, let me let me put my fish pants look because I actually have yeah this right here. So it's really cool. Is the fish pants actually make the eyes glow? It's uh it's laggy a little bit. Okay, there we go. Makes the the kraken eyes glow, which is really cool. Yeah, so. That is really cool. Um, the glow also does change color, which is super dope. My only gripe is just they're not symmetrical. Um, and I know people are gonna be like, wow, you bitch a lot about symmet like symmet asymmetry. But like the thing is like the boots are symmetrical. So like I would have preferred if the arms were symmetrical as well, like at least, because now it just looks stupid. Um, personally, I mean, it's gonna shade her really well. It's gonna shade her the same as the pants, but um yeah i would have just preferred if the arms were symmetrical so that way you can you have those like both glows at the at the sides and would actually pair with the boots a lot better because again they would be symmetrical but that's like my only gripe about the about them because they look fucking cool and then for the ornaments that hunters got we have blight ranger which like i appreciate it um but the exotics trash so i don't really appreciate it that much and then for girl falcon which yeah i don't know how to feel about this one because it looks kind of boring uh granted it's cool that we got something for that because then people can do shit like this where they can obviously this is where, where bungie was probably going with when they introduced this ornament it's just combine it with the armor that we got this season and just do something like this because yeah like this doesn't look bad at all like it looks completely fine it looks like it's part of this set um, so I will probably just combine the pressure stabilizer, which is the ornament for girl Falcon with some of these pieces to really make it look that good. Um, I hate this armor, by the way, but we'll, we'll get to that. when we get to that, cause I still need to get the Titans and warlocks. Speaking of warlocks, we are looking at the ancestral warlock armor. <sighs> and let me tell you, I hate the helmet. Um, it's the eye. That's really it. I don't understand why there was just one singular eye. Um, why? Could have just been two eyes. It could have just been no eyes. That would have been cool. Or it could have been um, like a stylized uh, human eye. That would have been cool as well. Like just kind of like how the armor is like a stylized human face. Just make it stylized human eyes underneath the mask. So that way it looks like it's actually someone using like wearing it. Because like the one eye, it just it looks goofy. Looks really fucking goofy so i don't know i if we can turn off the glow and it doesn't like look stupid i will definitely use it but i i hate the glow whoever thought of the one eye glow the cyclops eye just i yeah a uh, cool interaction though is this is a fully glowed ornament or uh bond which means that if you put one of the shaders that turns off glows, this will actually turn off and you will have no bond there. So I will definitely be doing that. And yeah, I think this is super cool. Definitely should have gone to the hunters, but warlocks, you, you guys got a good Japanese chess piece. I'm definitely going to use this for other for other sets, but the boots are also really good considering fucking Japanese set as well. I don't know, man, I'm going to get mad if I look at it even more. And quickly, I had to add it because I totally forgot to actually post the universal ornament that I got for the Warlock. It's Heart of Steel, which is pretty cool because it is uh, for an exotic day you might not think of. So it's actually for the stag, specifically for the ornament of the stag, which is a weird choice. Not going to lie, because um, I, I personally don't like it when they make ornaments for an ornament, because most of the time people might not have that. And it's pretty annoying. But once you put the ornament on it, it does give you those horns, which is pretty cool. Um, arms, though, I would have I probably would have chosen like either the chest piece or boots uh, just because arms as cool as it does look. I think the chest piece would have been way wilder, to be quite honest. Like, can you imagine like horns coming out of your back and whatnot? Like it would have just been way cooler with the chest piece. Not saying this looks bad. This looks fucking cool, but 
like the possibility of getting the chess piece would have been wild. So that's pretty much it. Uh, back to the original video. And then for the ornaments, um, so we got Starfire Protocol, which is fucking hilarious because I called that they, they were going to get an ornament after getting fucking nerfed. And it looks cool as fuck. And I've already made a look for this as well. And it shaders really, really well with the only caveat being the gems don't change color if I remember correctly. Um, I think that's the only negative I have. If it changes color, then it, it looks fine. It, it is probably the best ornament in the game right now. Um, from this season, I should say. And then we have Fallen Sunstar, which... What the fuck is this, bro? I just... What, is, what even is this, bro? I'm not a fan of this ornament. It looks kind of dumb. Will I pick it up? Probably. Um, depending if it goes up for bright dust. If it does, sure. If not, I'm going to ignore this like the plague. So that's pretty much it for every class. I'm going to be real with you guys. It's going to suck buying these because they're 20 bucks, which is ridiculous. But I mean, this is the world we live in. Fucking can't have nice things without paying for it. Um, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think, I think the Titans got some, I, one good piece. One, if I remember correctly, hunters, I'm going to be real. I don't know. Like, I don't like a lot of the ornaments that, that the, the classes got this season. Aside from the warlock, that chest piece is super cool, but that helmet is super fucking weird. Let me know what you guys think. I'm probably going to end it here because the ever video took a little bit longer than I expected. So we will be making a season uh, 21 stuff and we'll probably actually hold on. Yeah, I'm not going to look at these just because they're from the packs. Like they're, it's just going to piss me off even more thinking about the fact that like a lot of the shit it, that be that's behind the, the bundles are just not going to be in game unless you pay money for them. And like all of these shaders and four of these shaders you have to pay for. Like it's getting fucking ridiculous considering these three are the only ones you can get in game. And these two are from a season pass. So... I think I think one of these shaders you can't even buy with or you can't even get without the the premium season pass. So it's only two shaders that you got from from Eververse. But from activities, we are getting the crucible one, which is melting point. Yeah, not a fan of the white. Um unfortunately. I'll, the glow though? That gl that's a good red glow though, bro. That's a very deep, like rich red. So the glow is really cool. We have battle temper. Let's see this one. Okay, it looks it looks a lot better. Um, yeah, it looks a lot better. Actually, yeah, the, there's different glows too. There's a green, but there's also a brown, so it's pretty cool. We have I think there's I think that's it, right? No, it's Gambit. Yeah, that's right. We have Gambit. This Gambit though, Gambit has a good shader though. Yeah, I like this shader a lot. It's such a good green. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Medusa shader because Medusa also has this like bright green, but it's the fact that it has this like deep green. Um, this might actually be part of the color as well. The black uh, scales and then the glow is like this really good red green too. So that's really cool. For, I don't remember. The, oh, I think I like this one too. Yeah, this is such a good one. Uh, I'm not a fan of orange, but like this one, because it's such a dark orange, I think it looks really, really cool. And most of the time you'll find a color or an armor set that has only the blue side. So that will be really cool. I think that's it though. Yeah, that is it. So we're getting one, two, usually four because it's usually the playlist shaders plus um, iron banner. That's usually the shaders we get per season because everything else is through Eververse. So the fact that like three shaders are behind the store is just ridiculous and I'm, I'm not even talking like eververse eververse because this one's behind just the shader store most likely or, or not shader store the uh bright dust store these three are legit just silver same thing with eagle maligan which is gonna piss me off that i didn't pick up i think it's still in the store but like it just pisses me off that the shaders are behind packages where it's just like, bro, just give me the shader for free. Like, bro, like I already pay for so much. I already pay to pay to play the fucking game itself. Even though people will argue it's a free to play game. They need to make money somehow. It's like, <sighs> why am I paying for the expansions then, bro? Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I really care about. Um, is there, where is the, I want to see if we can see the, uh, the dungeon emblem. Ooh, ooh, that looks cool. 
this looks cool. oh fuck that looks cool i'm excited for this one um not gambit strikes definitely not in strikes world maybe it's in world no it should be in raids though it's yeah okay so we can't see it yet i guess that's cool so let me know what you guys think again uh let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i'm definitely excited for this season just because it's a new season means more content and just uh more busy work for me we will be doing other stuff um this season hopefully after i'm done with all of the videos that i want to make we'll most likely go do some other stuff so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys other than that be safe i will see you guys later